Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Extreme Car Breaks. Today, we went treasure hunting. We were in Elizabethtown, Kentucky, and somebody told me they saw baseball cards at the Peddler's Mall. Now, I do want to say I did stop by, like, the flea market and another place. They didn't have anything. So, we did venture into uh, Peddler's Mall. There was not a whole lot in there. But I will tell you guys, if you're into those Funko Pops... I took a video of one of the bigger displays, but there was at least three of them in there that you could go through. And uh, if you're big in them Funko Pops. And also, if you collect Hot Wheels, there's like so many huge stands. Because these are all individually owned. And it's just a peddler's mall. I, I'm not really too sure how to explain it. But I bet you there was like six, seven big, huge uh, displays that you walk through with Hot Wheels. So... If you're big into Funko Pops or Hot Wheels, check it out. As far as what we found, we found packs that people were selling that were retail. There was nothing really in there. Then we uh, looked through some cards, but I had to get a lady to come over the keys so I couldn't tape while I was going through them all. So I do apologize for that. But check the video out. And then at the end, after uh, you get the little video clips of what we found in there, including the Funko Pops, you'll see what I did pick up in there. Also, um... If you do see anything on the video, like the Funkos, you're like, oh my gosh, that thing there is like a $500 Funko or $100 Funko. I can tell you the small ones I've seen were anywhere from like $8 to $11. And like the big one, it like was the Night King glow in the dark thing from Game of Thrones, I think was like $26, $27, somewhere around there. But enjoy the video, guys, and I will see you for the reveal of what I found. It looks like some 17 Donruss, Tenders, So, again, there wasn't a whole lot in there unless you were into Funko Pops or um, Hot Wheels. I, I don't really follow that stuff at all. Oh, there was uh, some comic books, too, but I didn't see anything noteworthy like Superman. But they did have some, uh, I'm trying to remember what it was, Avengers that I seen, but I, I couldn't tell you. So, what I found was uh, a few cards. I paid a buck fifty for all of these, okay? So, first off the bat was the 92-93 Fleer Ultra Michael Jordan. Everybody knows that I pretty much collect them and stuff, so he'll go in. I don't, I think it's going to come back like an 8 or a 9. They're, they're right around where my thumb is. There's just a little piece up there, so it, it's going to get a home in a PSA case eventually. Then I found two beam teams, and this is more like the checklist beam teams. That This here had Jordan, Rodman, and Kevin Johnson on. They're pretty decently centered, so I'm going to get them graded uh, with one of my bigger lots for PSA. I found a yellow classic, Jose Canseco. This should be, uh, well, I want to say it was 87 that they came out with this, maybe 86. 
Now it's just not really hitting me too well now. But uh, it was pretty cool that you found find something like this because the first year there was, I believe, yellow and green were the two that began with it all. But I picked it up just because I remember when I was a kid and you really couldn't beat it for the price. <laughs> and this is no lie. Ken Griffey Jr. Bowman. Now I got two of these suckers that are going to go in and get graded. 89 Bowman rookie. So it wasn't really a bad haul there. I mean, it was just I wanted to take a look at it because you never know what's in there. This stuff back here is website stuff, guys. And I will plug it again. Don't forget to check out www.extremecardbreaks.com. We are listing cards for sale now on there. We're moving away from eBay. So subscribe not only on to here because I'll do a video probably every couple weeks with what's new going in the store, but also to the newsletter. So you're like getting the discount codes and stuff. Don't don't forget to check it out. But anyhow, I'm gonna. There's another place I would get away from my uh, <laughs> plug there. I've seen in Somerset, Kentucky, where they had somebody posted in Facebook Marketplace. And there were some sets and boxes, so I'm going to see if they're open tomorrow. If not, it gives me something to do next weekend. We're going to start doing little roadshow tours um, just to see what's out here. And like I said, if you guys see something, I can always venture back, as long as it's not super far, like over an hour drive. Or if I'm going that way, I'll pick it up and get mailed out to you all. But it wasn't bad for a first little venture. Somebody just said they saw some baseball cards, and I figured I'd check it out. But if you're down there, I'll tell you. It, around Elizabeth Town, Kentucky's Peddler's Mall, there's a ton of Matchbox cars, a ton of Funkos. You just got to walk through this big building and find them all. All right, that's all for me. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video. I will see you guys later.